We're celebrating 50 years since the first moon landing. On July 20th, 1969, Apollo 11 became the first manned spacecraft to land on the moon's surface. Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins were the crew on board. The crew traveled 240,000 miles in 76 hours. And as you'll remember, I'm sure that as they walked the surface, Armstrong stated one small step for man, a giant leap for mankind, marking a major breakthrough in American space exploration. Well, all week long, institutions have been honoring the legacy of the mission to the moon. The Smithsonian has Neil Armstrong's spacesuit on display. Apollo 11 was even projected on the Washington Monument this week as well. It's been absolutely beautiful to see. Then right here at home, Tyler Junior College is doing their part to celebrate the occasion. We have Fox 51's Olivia Sandusky joining us live now from the campus to tell us what they've got going on. Good morning, Olivia. Yeah, good morning, Kara. Such an iconic moment in history right there with the moon landing. And it's just continued to inspire generations up until today. Now here at Tyler Junior College, they recognize that they're holding their own celebration of this anniversary. And it's going to have a lot of STEM related activities for everyone in the community to get their hands on. Now this starts tomorrow at 11 a.m. They have a former TJC alum and NASA employee, Charles Price, who spoke last weekend. They're going to have a recording of that speech, which includes his work on the Apollo 11 mission. Now, there will be some other presentations, and people of all ages will be able to build rockets, learn about ham radio operations, and use their telescopes. Dr. Hartwig is one of the organizers of this event, and he says it's going to be a great way to recognize this monumental day. The lasting legacy of the Apollo missions was how it inspired generations to uh, take an interest in science and STEM and just education in general. It really inspired a, a whole, whole generation and that's one of the things that we're hoping to continue with our Moon Day event is to inspire uh, future generations to, to do the same thing. It does sometimes now, admission is $5 for adults, just $3 for kids, and they do ask that you call or email the Science Center beforehand because they say that seating will be limited. But, Kara, I want to let you and all of our viewers know that the first 250 people who show up do get this awesome Moon Day gift bag. They just came out and showed me one as an example. It's got some fun toys inside, some games, but they said, I'm not giving away everything, you know, so you're going to have to be surprised when you show up tomorrow and you get one of these bags. But they are expecting a lot of people to show up, so get here early, get ready to have some fun and maybe learn something along the way. Reporting live in Tyler, Olivia Sandusky, Fox 51 News.